Attention all anatomy aficionados. This is the anatomy of the brainstem. The brainstem is the stalk-like part of the brain that interconnects the cerebrum and diencephalon with the spinal cord. In the human brain, the brainstem is composed of the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. The midbrain is continuous with the thalamus of the diencephalon through the tentorial notch. The brainstem is very small, making up around only 2.6% of the brain's total weight. It has the critical roles of regulating heart and respiratory function, helping to control heart rate and breathing rate. It also provides the main motor and sensory nerve supply to the face and neck via the cranial nerves. Ten pairs of cranial nerves come from the brainstem. Other roles include the regulation of the central nervous system and the body's sleep cycle. It is also of prime importance in the conveyance of motor and sensory pathways from the rest of the brain to the body, and from the body back to the brain. These pathways include the corticospinal tract for motor function, the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway for fine touch, vibration sensation, and proprioception, and the spinothalamic tract for pain, temperature, itch, and crude touch. The parts of the brainstem are the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. The diencephalon is sometimes considered part of the brainstem. The brainstem extends from just above the tentorial notch superiorly to the first cervical vertebra below the foramen magnum inferiorly. The midbrain is further subdivided into three parts, tectum, tegmentum, and the ventral tegmental area. The tectum forms the ceiling. The tectum comprises the paired structure of the superior and inferior colliculi and is the dorsal covering of the cerebral aqueduct. The inferior colliculus is the principal midbrain nucleus of the auditory pathway and receives input from several peripheral brainstem nuclei, as well as inputs from the auditory cortex. Its inferior brachium, arm-like process, reaches to the medial geniculate nucleus of the diencephalon. The superior colliculus is positioned above the inferior colliculus and marks the rostral midbrain. It is involved in the special sense of vision and sends its superior brachium to the lateral geniculate body of the diencephalon. The tegmentum which forms the floor of the midbrain, is ventral to the cerebral aqueduct. Several nuclei, tracts, and the reticular formation are contained here. The brainstem plays important functions in breathing, heart rate, arousal, consciousness, sleep, wake functions and attention, concentration. There are three main functions of the brainstem. First, the brainstem plays a role in conduction. That is, all information relayed from the body to the cerebrum and cerebellum and vice versa must traverse the brainstem. The ascending pathways coming from the body to the brain are the sensory pathways and include the spinothalamic tract for pain and temperature sensation and the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway, or DCML, including the gracile fasciculus and the cuneate fasciculus for touch proprioception, and pressure sensation. The facial sensations have similar pathways and will travel in the spinothalamic tract and the DCML. Descending tracts are the axons of upper motor neurons destined to synapse on lower motor neurons in the ventral horn and posterior horn. In addition, there are upper motor neurons that originate in the brainstem's vestibular, red, tectal, and reticular nuclei which also descend and synapse in the spinal cord. Secondly, the cranial nerves numbered 3 through 12 emerge from the brainstem. These cranial nerves supply the face, head, and viscera. The first two pairs of cranial nerves arise from the cerebrum. And thirdly, the brainstem has integrative functions being involved in cardiovascular system control, respiratory control, pain sensitivity control, alertness, awareness, and consciousness. Thus, brainstem damage is a very serious and often life-threatening problem. Ten of the twelve pairs of cranial nerves either target or are sourced from the brainstem nuclei. 
The nuclei of the oculomotor nerve and trochlear nerve are located in the midbrain. The nuclei of the trigeminal nerve, abducens nerve, facial nerve and vestibulocochlear nerve are located in the pons. The nuclei of the glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, accessory nerve and hypoglossal nerve are located in the medulla. The fibers of these cranial nerves exit the brainstem from these nuclei. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Please comment and subscribe for more anatomy. Goodbye.